Hi, today I'm going to talk about my new application called iPlay CG, which stands for Classical Guitar, and it's developed by W Code, W K O D E. So in iTunes, search for that. It's an application for the iPhone and iPod Touch, and you need OS 3.0 to get it working. So uh, here it is. There are three columns and one minor one at the right edge. So you can touch the edge to play those. So each column has five buttons. Next column. Next column. And the last one. The tiny one. Okay? The way I hold it is with my right hand. I hold it like this. Use my thumb to play the melody. My left hand to play the chords. So try to hold it so that your thumb is right in the middle. Go like this. This way you can play all the, the notes on the keyboard. You just move up a little bit and you play that one. Move up another one. You play the top note. So it goes. Make sure you can do that, okay? And with your left hand, you just play the chords. The keys are very spacious, so it's pretty hard to miss them. Unlike most programs, like most piano programs, they're very hard to play because the keys are too small. Okay, so uh, the first thing you need to practice is your left hand. Because your left hand is going to be playing a lot of notes. It's going to play all the background music, so it's going to play lots of lots of notes. So it's best to kind of get familiar with all the chords and how to make a chord and to practice all the patterns so you can just you know play it you know by instinct basically second instinct so uh, the most uh, simple pattern is one three five so you hit the first note skip the second one hit the third one skip the fourth one hit the fifth one and that's that gives you a chord right there so one three five one three five We began, this is the scale of C. It's a C major scale. So the first key is a C. So that means it's it's going to be a C chord. If you go down, it begins with a D. So how notice how I'm changing my, my, my fingering. So middle finger, first finger, middle finger again. Like a triangle with a with an angle that's greater than ninety degrees. It's like oblique triangles. I forgot. But you're still doing one, three, five. One, three. There's no five here. There's four here. So five is in the next column. Okay, and that's a D minor, and it's because in a in the scale of a C major there is no D chord, so that's a D minor. Likewise, it's an E minor next. So notice that this pattern is the same as this pattern. All you do is shift your finger, your hand down one note. D minor, E minor. See how fast that is? So again, C. D minor. E minor. So that's, uh, that, that's two patterns, right? The next one is an F. This is a different pattern. It's a third pattern. Still one three five. The next one is a G chord. Same pattern as F chord. The third pattern. Still one three five one three five. So three patterns to cover all the keys here, and you jump to the next column and repeat the same thing. So one more time. First pattern. Second pattern. Second pattern. Third pattern. Fourth pattern. So once you master that, you're gonna be able, you're gonna be able to play a lot of a lot of, a lot of songs because it's just a matter of adding your your thumb in the right place to to include the melody. Okay. So um, there's another chord. Uh, it, go, it goes one, three, six. One, three, six. One, 
three six. And another one it's one four six. the chord by the, the middle finger right here this note this is a C B minor slash 5 because it says B here this is A here so it's A minor okay and another pattern here is So it's one four six again and this chord you read it from this key here so it's a G F G okay and those are the patterns and once you get used to it you can play any song you can think of just make melody with your your right hand so I'm gonna demonstrate a song here so it's hard to play while I'm twisted backwards but I'll try my best okay so let's try this one. One more time. Okay, and another one when the saints go marching in. If you don't know how to make your own songs, at first you won't. Go to the online database and download a song from someone else, mostly me right now because I've, I've made a lot of uh, songs already. So you can download them and learn them. So once you downloaded a song, go into the practice your song mode. Okay, Click on that and remember to set your playback speed slower, like 0.5 instead of 1. 1 means natural speed. So set it at 0.5, so that's a half a half speed. So what you do then, you click on the song you want to play, and green lights will show up with no sound. But when you press it, the sound will come out. So you basically practice the song that way. So start slow. Start at half speed. If you've uh, mastered that, then go up in speed. Go to 0.75, and then finally to the natural speed of 1. And practice it, okay? So and that's it for today. Hope you have fun with this application. Tell your friends about it. So we can all enjoy playing anywhere, anytime, even while you're walking. Alright. Thanks for watching. Bye.